Hi, I'm Lata from Sikh Village. I am going to tell a story of a foolish donkey. A salt seller used to carry his salt bag on his donkey to the market every day. On the way, they had to cross a stream. One day, suddenly the donkey tumbled and fell in the water. Salt bag also fell in the water and the salt dissolved in the water. And hence, the bag became very light to carry. The donkey was very happy. It understood and played the same trick every day. The salt seller understood the trick of the donkey. He decided to teach a lesson to it. Next day, he loaded the bag with the cotton. Donkey thought the bag would be more lighter and played the same trick. But the wet cotton bag became very heavy to carry and the donkey suffered. It learned a lesson and did not play the trick anymore. The seller also was very happy. The moral of the story, luck owned favor always. Anything we do, we should do it sincerely and happily. Thank you so much. Bye. I repeat, stretch your hands with your right hand. You have to touch your left leg by raising. And with your left leg, you have to touch your right leg. With your left hand, you have to touch your right leg. So, let's start doing slowly. Right hand, left leg. Ma'am, I know this exercise, ma'am. Yeah, come on, come on, do it home with me now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now relax. Now the second exercise is lazy eight. So everyone knows the number eight. So by using your right hand, draw eight. Yes, slowly you do that. Next, by using your left hand, draw eight. Now, Using your both hands, you have to draw eight. Again. Let's do it once again. Using your right hand, draw eight. Let's do it for five times. Now using your left hand, draw eight again. Let's do it for five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's using both hands, we'll draw. Come on, draw eight. Two, three, four, five. The third exercise is the elephant exercise. For this, you have to raise your hand, right hand, touch your ear, right ear, and you have to draw eight. Again, draw eight. This is elephant exercise. Now do with your right hand and right ear. You have to touch your right ear and draw eight. Take your left hand, touch your left ear, and do it again. Eight. Again, you have to draw eight. We'll try once again. Right hand, right ear. Come on, draw eight. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now 
do with your left hand and left ear. Touch your left ear and do once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are the three exercises. The first one is cross crawl. For this, touch your with your right hand, right hand, you have to touch your left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The second is right eight. One, two, three, four, five. The left hand you Both hands will do. Eight. Please play the eight. And uh, next is the elephant exercise. Use with your left hand. Just follow my instruction. Raise your right hand, touch your ears, right ear, and draw eight with your hand. This is elephant exercise. Now do with the left hand, left hand and left ear. You have to touch and draw eight. Okay, these are the three exercises. The fourth exercise, for that you need to take a white paper and two pencils. Let's see the fourth exercise. This is double doodle. For this, you have to take two pencils or two pens, whatever. Any pen or pencil. I'm taking one pencil and one pen. Hold pencil or pen, whatever you have. In the both the hands. Now try to draw any okay. shape. Try to right. draw any shape. Here I'm drawing with two hands. You have to draw. See, I'm drawing circle. Try to draw any shape. So I am drawing circle here. Two hands you have to do that. Hold the pencils or pen in both hands and draw shapes in a circle. Triangle. Now I'm drawing triangle slowly. With two hands, you have to draw shapes. Circle. Triangle. Now we'll draw square. See, square and rectangle. Slowly you do. Slowly. We'll repeat again. Circle. Triangle. Square. Rectangle. Now, we'll try to draw a tree. Is it visible? Draw any picture with two hands. Are you able to do that with two hands? It might be very difficult, but you can try it. You can draw pictures, shapes. Ma'am, I'm able to do it. I'm able to do it. Very good. Hi guys, this is Swapna. Today I'm going to show you an experiment. The experiment is tornado in a jar. So let's get started. 
The tornado is a violent rotating column of the air extending from the thunderstorm to the ground. For this experiment, you need the materials like water, dish washing soap, vinegar and empty jar with the lid and little glitter. So let's start the experiment. First, you take a jar. Fill the jar three quarter full of the water. Yes. Now take dish washing soap of one spoon. And mix it in the water. Now take one teaspoonful of vinegar. Mix it. Now take the glitter. Mix it. and move the jar in circular motion for a few seconds. Now stop. You can see the tornado in the jar. See the tornado got formed. I show you once again. I hope you like the experiment. Thank you for watching.